Hey everyone, how you doing today? I thought I'd uh, take another look at the workshop on this glorious Friday here, and I uh, got uh, six uh, really cool creations to look at today. A couple big ones in the in the group. Uh, very first one here is for vanilla, and it's the only vanilla creation I've got uh, to show today. And this is the uh, Mantisar Class Carrier by Ramsar44. And uh, yeah, I can already say it looks really, really cool. Um, I thought I'd just uh, take a look at the body here. I, I love the uh, I love the the shaping and design of this. It's uh, Another one of those highly detailed creations where just every little nook and cranny has detail and different texturing and coloring and shaping and block work and texture lights and you name it. Uh, it's got a lot going on here. I thought I'd take a good look at it. Now one thing I'll, uh, I'll cover when we get to the stats too is it really surprised me on a particular stat. Um, and I didn't expect it at all, especially for something this size. Um, so it's, yeah, this is, this is, this is really cool. I'm liking the, uh, I'm liking the shaping here a lot, uh, how everything kind of bubbles in, but there's, um, a lot of breakups going on and there's different color work and just uh, like, again, every little area here has a lot of detail going on in it, um, which is really, really cool. Obviously a lot of work was put into this and, uh, it's very, uh, very evident of that. Um, love these, uh, love this, uh, piece over here, I guess you could say this, uh, extension here kind of looks like a plating on the outside there. And it's just, uh, that is really cool. Kind of looks like it's uh, set up for a weapon here. Um, man, there's a lot to see on this. You can imagine the interior. I bet you it's going to be pretty, pretty darn big too. Um, I got to get up to the flight deck yet too, but just taking a look at the, the lower section of the ship is, is pretty amazing here. I like this big, um, this big piece here too that that is uh that looks pretty cool kind of uh kind of like a, a water break or something like that on a ship um a little bit not not exactly but it, it does look really cool for sure i love the uh love this control tower going on here too um that is uh pretty cool it's all uh, asymmetrical on the one side there and look at this uh oh wow look at this so we got this big runway going on here, and then that kind of actually goes down so you can park things inside the, uh, well, it looks like a hangar space towards the back of the uh, uh, ship. And a bunch of landing pads over here. What we got going on here? Docking area. Okay, yeah, d don't park here. Bad. <laughs> well, you can park there, obviously, but uh, yeah, nice. Oh, this is really, really, really cool. Look at, look at all the stuff that's going on here. I like this, uh, the, the rear side uh, thruster uh, uh, setup to the uh, the block work around there looks really cool. And the way the uh, the, the, the smaller thrusters are, are using the angled one. And then you got the big one in the middle. That's a, a nice looking uh, formation of thrusters there. And uh, again, all the uh, the turrets are kind of have uh, their own um, kind of pedestals, basically. That, that's a nice touch. I like that, too. And yeah, look at all the uh, complexity in this control tower over on the one side too. Wow, got antennas. It's got uh, oh, I like these uh, these round things going on here. It's cool, some kind of radar or sonar or who knows what. But uh, that is cool. I like that. We got our big radar here, and then we've got like uh, this is pretty realistic too. This is like a big big type of fancy radar uh, here. It actually looks uh, pretty uh, more it looks pretty realistic, actually. Um, a lot of these kind of uh, big radars are kind of covered by this kind of stuff, uh, which the radar allows it to go through the outer shell, but it protects it from the elements and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, that is that is cool. Yeah, this is a really slick looking creation here. It's it's pretty big too. I'll well, we'll look at the specs here in a bit. All right, so let me do the lighting thing, and I'll go start touring this. Uh, man. Oh, nice. As I suspected, pretty nice-looking hangar here, too. A lot of uh, a lot of detail going on on the inside as well. 
So what do we got going on here? Huh. Lots of stuff. Looks like we got a, uh, a nice medical bay. Uh, easy to get to. Looks like you got your main uh, medical uh, uh, device here. And then all the uh, extra equipment. And it looks like on the other side we got some uh, oxygen, a clone chamber, and armor locker. So a bunch of utility right as you come in the, uh, the uh, rear hangar door. And wow. Just taking a look at all this stuff. Uh-oh. I run out of light sensors. Okay, we got a little, a little dead zone right there. I think that happens. That happens. <laughs> it's a big hanger. Um, oh wow, everything's labeled here too. So we got a bunch of decks to go on here. Ramsar Engineering. We got a bridge teleporter. Level three, level two, B. Wow, very cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick on this floor for now, and then we'll uh, try to try to get up there so it looks like uh got a repair bay on the front side over here of the hangar just curious where that console is not, not sure yet it's probably uh probably right in front of my face i just can't uh see it right now so what do we got here so this is a level 1-1b of course you got to have an a and b it makes sense it makes sense oh nice I like the use of the uh, the deco in here. Also, the uh, caution tape on the or the caution uh, decals over the uh, the sides there. That's a nice looking texture for that. Actually, I like the, I like the the setup on that. That looks really good. The piping going on, and then we got kind of, some kind of bracing. Uh, it's slick. So let's see what's in one of these rooms here. Oh, well, looks like we're gonna go up. I don't know if I want to do that quite yet. Yeah, this goes away. So, hold on. Let me try to finish up this area. There's a door on the front here first. And another door and another elevator. Uh-oh. I, 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 I can almost assure you I'm going to get lost already. Oh, oh wow. What's going on here? Oh, we've got this. Oh, that's a neat looking catwalk. Wow. Yeah, this is quite the ship here. Very nice. So it looks like that's a generator. So I'm thinking maybe I traveled on this deck at least as far as it goes forward. This looks really cool though. I, I, I dig the uh, dig the setup here. That's uh, that, that is slick. Kind of a bridge over this glass uh, area here. And that's actually, yeah, this is the bottom of the ship. So we're looking at the, uh, the landing pad or the big landing pad on the bottom there. That's cool. That is cool. Unique feature there. All right, so now I'm going to take one of these uh, corridors off the side here, and we'll uh, follow the staircase on through. And again, everything looks nice. I mean, and these tight hallways, too, it's kind of rough to make them uh, look pretty, but uh, successful here. I mean, a lot of uh, a lot of intricate block work even going on in the little uh, hallway area, which is uh, always a wonderful thing there. I like the glass window over by the side there. That's nice. So now we're kind of like walking up a little bit, kind of, uh, no, this isn't the rear hangar. This is uh, another section here. So it looks like we're getting into some uh, production over here. So we've got a storage bay and uh, looks like a constructor. I bet you a power switch for those things. Yes, very nice. Oh, that's cool too. I was just looking at the uh, the block work kind of backing up the uh, that newer glass in the game. Um, so yeah, the blocks were kind of set up to uh, match the uh, the round angles of the glass, and then there's actually got texture lights there too. Um, not not bright ones, but which is fine. Uh, but that looks that looks really cool. This whole this whole area looks really good. Caution uh, the caution uh, decals and things like that. Really cool. Uh, looks like we've got some air air tanks behind the uh, the grates over here. Oh, we've got a uh, O2 there. I like how that's displayed too, with a kind of an open vent grate there in front of it. Nice touch. Yeah, really cool. Really cool. Nice color coloring scheme too. So it's kind of uh, fairly neutral. It almost looks like it has a bit of a uh, like a blue tint to it. That could be just the lighting, though. I'm not 100% on that. But then you also have this kind of more uh, reddish accent uh, going on in parts of this. Nice, nice job on the lighting, too. That looks really good. Oh, yeah. And look at this big, big LCD here, which is kind of, uh, 
so there's a force field here and then there's an LCD kind of over the force field to give it some some nice appearance because those force fields typically don't look terribly wonderful by themselves but that makes it look really really cool and look at all the uh, look at all the intricate block work going around this whole section here and then the other side of the uh, the glass windows with a kind of a different kind of uh, framework actually no we're just looking at the back side of that so yeah it looks it's a kind of a two-way glass thing looks really cool on the other side and looks really cool on this side too but different different on both sides a nice uh, choice of decal right there and then yeah look at that view that you're looking up at the uh, at the control tower there and the glass yeah this is uh, this is really slick and uh, yeah this is one of those creations that I yeah it's I know this one took a long time to build I mean I don't I can't say how long depends how fast the author is and how picky the author is but I can say I can say the author was quite picky because there's a lot of a lot of detail going on here these corridors wow all right so I think this is probably kind of a, a bit of a mirror of the other side there so let me go up a floor from here or a deck or down oh wait, oh hold on now okay so we started here I think this is the hangar kind of I didn't uh, I didn't even notice this corridor when I was walking through the hangar but yes that, that does go back down to the hangar there that is cool. So we're on one. So let's go up to okay. So we were we started at two here. I do believe. Yep, that's where I came in at. Let's go up to uh, the next deck. Where's the next deck? Here's three. Okay. Nice. Level three B. Oh look at this. Got kind of a. Uh, a nice uh, place here to chill. Um, yeah, I kind of like just a place to watch TV and sit and play some cards. And that's cool. Got a plant. <laughs> and then it looks like we're out to a uh, wow, this thing's big. Um, out to a back deck out here. Nice uh, access point there. And so we're actually getting up into the uh, the control tower here. Yeah, that's cool. I like the uh, I like the way the uh, the staircase is done here too. Interesting. Huh. Well, let's go this way. Okay, it looks like we're getting into the uh, definitely uh, crew area. Nice glass again, kind of overlooking uh, more parts of the ship. <laughs> this is a big ship. Um, very cool. Very cool. It's even got some like wallpaper up there. And fancy bathroom, like the tile floor. Very cool. Yeah, I like the, uh, the kind of like the the lighting, track lighting or something going along the ceiling there. That is nice as well. Okay, so we got some more of that. And I th think that's as far as that floor goes. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go up another deck here. So we're at four. Again, very, very nice. So on 4B, so obviously there's probably a 4A as well, maybe. Uh, look at all these doors. Oh. And, okay, so this gets us back out to uh, a deck. This is kind of like an elevated position where the uh, that big uh, radar dome is. Oh, yeah, and we're right to the bridge right now. So we're just looking out the front of the uh, control tower. So you got your pilot seat and a couple uh, passenger seats. Sorry guys, if you're sitting over here, you got to stare this way <laughs> and, and and mind your uh, or man your terminal. <laughs> uh, no, this is really really cool. This is really cool. Um, let's see what's up. Okay, so we uh, yeah we just walked out that way. So we're kind of at the top of the elevator. For some reason, I uh, feel that I'm I'm pretty positive I didn't get to some areas here. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, that's cool. Length 202 meters. That's a big ship. The armament on there, ammo, storage, vehicles. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Like how it's kind of uh, put over this block work as well. Um, that's interesting. Okay, so we're at 4B. So hold on, I'm gonna have to figure out how to navigate this. We've been on uh, 3B. And then we're back down to the hangar section. Now I thought there was a 
a forward elevator somewhere too. I'll try to find that. Oh, yeah, it looks like we got some more. Uh, oh, I've been through here. <clears throat> okay, this is that staircase that goes down. We have taken this already. Really cool with all the shaping here too. Again, just little things like hallways, you know. You can put a lot of time and effort in, in all that stuff here. So let's head this way. Oh, I got to uh, got to call out this too. That's a pretty neat looking uh, little glass combo uh, block work L, uh, texture light combo set up here for this uh, this door door well. I definitely like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, so you got this nice even uh, texture light there. At first, I, I walked by and I was like, "Is that an LCD?" And I'm like, "No, that's that." I mean, this part in the middle is, but this isn't. That's cool. That's cool. And then we're okay. So we're back to the uh, the hangar. So let's head this way, and then catch this elevator here. So we're on one. Okay, just wanted to see if it went down any. Aha! Here we are. Now we're getting into the uh, the uh, front section here. So we got our farm. And it looks like a looks like a warp drive up there too. I like the little uh, cutouts here in the wall for the uh, the the fridge and the uh, food processors. And it looks like uh, 27 grow plots over here at least. Level two. This is probably your grow light controls, or at least yeah yeah grow lights. Nice. Got some places to chill and eat. A couple cargo boxes on the side. And then we got a warp drive out in front there. Oh, that's nice. Again, very, very nicely detailed. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff to see in this for sure. A lot of texturing done, a lot of lighting done, a lot of block work done, a lot of decals. Um, I call all the uh, you know your white lines and stuff decals. I don't know what they're supposed to be called. Um, they just appear to be decals to me so but I think they uh, in the game they called something else a decal which are actually like more like Photoshop pictures for POIs I believe um, that you can add in things but I believe it's only for POIs ah, so we're, it looks like we're in uh, engineering section here so we got some uh, got some generators over here bunch of fuel I like this big uh, I don't know, just a bunch of block work in the middle, like some big uh, pipe uh, machines, kind of. It kind of looks like they're kind of embedded in the ground. I like stuff like this, you know. It's like, I don't, I can't exactly say what it is, but it looks, you know, technical. Uh, just making blocks turn into, like, a part of themselves, basically. Wow. Yep. Yeah, this thing is, oh, I like the curvy wall on the front here and the pipe action going on. Another cool-looking doorway with the glass. Nice. What do we got up here? Oh, looks like our CPU cores and our shield. Got to have that, too. Man, I don't know how this ship's pulling off some things. And I'll, I'll, Again, I'll get to that in a second. We got a bunch of sensors over here, too, which is pretty interesting. Or maybe they're just... Uh, yeah, no, those are, those are uh, motion sensors. What are they doing? Is that, it can't all be for be for lighting. Hmm, I don't know. Hold on. What are you doing? Catapult. So this one's doing a cat. I, I, sorry, I'm just trying to trying to figure out what's going on here, and this one doesn't seem to be. Wow, well, look at all the, uh, yeah, we got some uh, circuits in here, too. But catapult. I'm not sure what that's about. Or what it's doing yet. Looks sweet, though. Looks sweet. Um, I'm sure there's a, there's a valid reason for that. I'm positive there's a valid reason for that. I just got to figure out what it is. Okay, so we're on this deck. Let's see. Does the uh, elevator get us... Nope. Okay. So, huh? Wait. I'm still. I'm still curious what all these are doing over here. It might. Maybe one's active and the others are just trying to uh, match the pattern. Could that be it? Yeah, because I don't see this actually named as anything, um, unless it has some uh, more elaborate function there. 
but I, yeah, I don't think it's attached to anything. So I think one of those is um, activated, and it, it does a catapult, which I'm not sure what that is right now. I'm sure it's something. Anyway, yeah, so what a slick ship. Um, love the uh, the look of the carrier. Love how the, uh, the uh, control tower area was done asymmetrically on the one side, which does make a lot of sense for a carrier, honestly. I, uh, I only did one carrier that way. And I probably should have done more that way. Um, having the uh, the control tower down the center really uh, divides up your landing space, and uh, so you can't get as large of uh, creations parked on there, especially like larger CVs and things like that. Um, but offsetting it like that definitely allows you to do that. Let me get the lights back on here, and let's take a look at some specs. And uh, that one spec I wanted to talk about that I really surprised me, and I don't know how this was done. Um, all right, so start with here. Uh, so we're uh, size class 16, uh, 14 hour and uh, 49 minute build time. It's going to use a little bit of uh, estrium and zycosium, but not very much, really. Uh, I don't think that it, it this uh, is it's a defensive uh, setup. So this obviously is a carrier and not an attack vessel. So basically it has... Uh, defense against, you know, light, light things, uh, drones and stuff that, like that, that would attack you. Uh, it's got one flak turret detector on here, a couple sentry guns. Um, I got here 14 oxygen tanks, eight fuel tanks. Uh, do I have the thrusters off right now? I think I might have the thrusters off. Yes. Better get those on so we can, so, uh, good forward speed, um, doesn't need much strafing speed, so it, it, it doesn't have much, which would uh, probably cost uh, quite a bit of uh, thrust power and things like that. Uh, 48 MS lift, which is pretty good. 12 down. Um, okay, so now, the really interesting part is I could have swore, looking at the size of this ship, that this thing was going to be a Tier 4. No-brainer. Like, I, I, I can't imagine this being a Tier 3, but it is a Tier 3, and it fits in it. Look at that. Look at that. This is the big surprise. Um, I know vanilla charges a little bit of CPU for blocks, too, which is kind of kind of odd, but it does. So I was like just looking at the overall sizes of this ship, thinking, well, you know, this is going to have to be a Tier 4. You know, especially I'm seeing thrusters on here. It's got some weapons. It's got a shield. It's got a warp drive. How did you fit this in Tier 3? Well, you did, <laughs> and that, that is pretty slick. So this is actually a little bit cheaper to get in the game too. Um, um, I imagine, of course, you could you could uh, switch it over to tier four blocks and add. Uh, you'd have huge more CPU to uh, to add stuff to this uh, creation with, which would be really cool too. Um, so you could probably really, I don't know what you would add, but uh, you could. I'm just saying, it's tier three. Biggest tier three creation I think I've ever seen. Um, well, that wasn't a building or something like that. Um, that didn't move, basically. Uh, so that that is slick. So uh, let's take a look at the storage here. So it looks like we got a bunch of cargo boxes. Uh, let's take a look at the controllers. So we got one here that's uh, 320, another that's 320. And we got an 88 uh, ammo, and it looks like another 88 ammo. So, okay, so it doesn't have a huge amount of storage. Again, it's uh, its goal in life, uh, its primary function would be to be a uh, carrier. Um, obviously, it does have some production, and it does have a farm in it as well, and it can warp, and it can uh, have a shield, and it can defend itself against, uh, uh, you know, those pesky drones and whatever else. Uh, that's a slick creation, slick creation. got to... Got to, got to give you that in the uh, in the uh, enormous surprise of realizing that this is a CPU tier three creation, um, which is startling, quite frankly. I just didn't think that would be possible for something this big, especially in vanilla. Um, but it obviously is, and the author uh, added as much as uh, uh, they possibly could stock without like going over that. Uh, uh, that CPU limit at tier three, which is really cool too. So you're obviously very mindful of uh, everything that you're doing here and what parts you're putting in and things like that. Again, very very cool creation. Uh, the uh, uh, Mantisar class carrier by Ramsar 44. All right, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna go into uh, Reforge Eden here a second.
and uh, right here. And we're going to take a look at some other uh, really, really cool creations. Um, the next one is by an author that doesn't sleep. Uh, <laughs> and um, actually, I uh, had to build something bigger than the one we just looked at yet. Uh, uh, also, um, to, just to mention, the, uh, the, the hull on the one we just looked at was made of steel. Um, here, let me get the lighting on here. It looks like it decided to go dark on me here. All right, so let's jet over to this uh, Stellar Endeavor uh, for Reforged Eden, and this is by Ente. Ente, the uh, the author that never sleeps, because the author keeps on building these super elaborate, awesome creations that, in some cases, get quite large, like this one here. Holy smokes! How do you build these things so quickly? I got I. Well, it's not, it, no, I, I know how. It's it, it's not that it was built quickly. It's just that the author doesn't sleep. <laughs> no, I, th that's a compliment. You've been, uh, you've been really, really doing well. I mean, you, man, you, uh, creation after creation and elaborate and every single one of them is super, super detailed um, and uh, really cool shaping. This thing is, uh, this thing is crazy. This thing is crazy. The Stellar Endeavor. Wow. And so, yeah, when I was uh, parking it, um, of course, they, you know, I'm trying to go long, uh, long ways on this landing pad. And, yeah, this thing was like, ha ha, I'm not even going to park. That landing pad is too small. <laughs> well, I guess maybe, maybe if I would have put it on the long ways, but uh, wow. So, obviously, this looks like, uh, at least at first glimpse, another carrier-style uh, creation. Certainly has carrier uh, space on it here. But, wow, look at look at all the stuff that's going on in here. Uh, you can peer right through the uh, the hall here, too. That That is that is cool. There's just a lot of stuff going on in here. Interesting. Oh, looks like we got some shield parts running down there, too, on this one. Wow, look at this. Look at this deck on here. That is insane. I like the piping. I like the, uh, it's kind of like, kind of that, uh, uh, I don't know, darker gray tone, sort of, but then it's got some accents here of this, uh, kind of, uh, more of a red color. Um, uh, some texture lights over here. A lot of, uh, uh, decals and a lot of, um, like playing with the, uh, the the deck blocks and things like that. Um, cool formations, a lot of detail in there. Definitely love that. And this thing is just enormous. Just enormous. Wow. And then, yeah, we got some, uh, some of this uh, classic uh, plating, which is kind of a trademark of uh, a lot of uh, Entei's uh, uh, ships. They kind of fit into, like, you could look at this ship, Although it is, you know, a lot, you know, it's different than the other ones, but you could uh, believe that, you know, it would be from the same faction and sit in the fame, same family of, like, ships. However, this one, I think, is a little bit bigger than some of the other ones I looked at, too. Look at this thruster assembly here. Do you see all the stuff that's going on here? Kind of almost looks like there's kind of a, uh, a spot over here where you could add in another thruster there, too. Uh, kind of looks like it's made for that. I bet you it is. <laughs> Wow, yeah, this thing is, is crazy. It looks like that is some form of bridge area there. Oh, yeah, there's a floor below there with some windows on the front. Wow. So here's our landing gear. Some of the landing gear. Oh, this big, uh, this big doorway here, too. I don't know if I want to activate that right now. I bet you it's more of an activation, activate, uh, Activation thing from the inside. I'm sorry. We got our uh, we got our radar over here. Nice. Oh uh, yeah, that's got quite the uh, underhaul going on here too. This whole area. And it looks like you can deploy things from these uh, side bays over there. And that's just on that part of the ship. Holy smokes! Oh, look at this thing. I like the uh, just out of the blue. There's kind of like some uh, some some yellow blocks here in oh those inside of this other stuff that's neat it's all that little detailed stuff 
and, and big detail stuff that just kind of makes this just really cool. Oh yeah, this is interesting here too. I didn't have this, uh, I don't have this parked on the landing pad because I, I uh, spawned it in uh, this way and it wouldn't fit. So I just kind of left it uh, flying in the air for now. But yeah, I can definitely say the same thing's going on with the rear thrusters. It looks like there's uh, areas to add quite a lot more uh, big XL thrusters here. It looks like another four per side. And already it looks like it comes stock with eight. So uh, it looks like you could bring that to 16 forward XL thrusters, which is a lot of thrust power. But then again, this is a really big ship too. And, if you, and who knows how much storage it has on it. Oh yeah, we got some integrated solar over here too. And there's so much going on, and it's so big. It's almost like I miss some of the solar that's going on. Um, but it's really nice how they're fit into place here. It's um, they don't stick out much at all, and having it on the on the bottom of the ship like that is kind of neat because you can kind of hide them. So when you're flying this around normally, you won't necessarily see all those solar panels or practically none of them. You have to really uh, examine the bottom side of the ship, and they're so integrated in with the uh, the hull shaping that you. It, they just don't stick out very much, which is cool. Um, and it's a ni nice feature to have those solar panels on a uh, Reforged Eden creation as well. Let's get back up to the top side here a little bit more again. Wow. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Um, that, yeah, that's big. All right. So let's start the interior tour here. And I'm going to probably end up getting lost. Sorry about that. Some of these things are like shopping malls and uh, <laughs> or, or, or bigger. <laughs> oh wow! Look at this. That's a neat look. I like the uh, the I like the choice of the uh, the lighting color in here. It's kind of it's kind of dark, but you got those uh, texture lights coming out. Um, and we got some big ramp doors going on here too. I wonder if there's a switch or something nearby to uh, access these or get these to open up. Or maybe I'm just screwing it up because I'm flying in God mode too. That's a very distinct possibility. Here, what if I get out of God mode? No, I would have to say there's probably a switch somewhere. Or something. Something that probably triggers that. Wow. Look at this. Look how wide this is too. Goes all these extra landing uh, pads over here. Looks like we've got some uh, some storage controllers in this section. Uh, some more storage controllers over here, and some utility function like O2 and armor locker. Uh, what do we got here? Maintenance area, high temperatures, radiation, no oxygen. Okay, engineering area. Oh yeah, okay, so this is when we were peering down through the uh, the flight deck area. Uh, this was kind of some of those uh, rooms below, which is, uh, looks like uh, in this room it's uh, giving you like some thruster access. But again, yeah, this is a uh, non-airtight uh, area. It could be hot if you got near those thrusters. And it's cool what's going on with the floor too. It's got uh, this kind of like framework uh, pattern. Huh, that's that's yeah, that's really cool. That's really cool. Wow, I've seen a staircase over here, but it looks like hold on. Oh no, that's open. For some reason, I thought I, I was wondering if there was glass in front of me, but nope. Yeah, let's head up the staircase. See where that goes. Oh yeah, here's those. Uh, yeah, we've seen these kind of peering through the uh, the flight deck as well. So we've got a gravity generator here. Looks like a couple shield parts. Um, and more shield parts. Um, so we got some medium ones, and it looks like these are the small ones. At least on this side. I wouldn't doubt if we get some more of those on the other side here, too. And it looks like more... Um, wow. Oh, and that kind of wraps around the back side there, too. And we got some more uh, storage controllers here. So I have a feeling this is going to have quite a lot of storage in it, too. Especially uh, kind of, a, you know, the author... Uh, Looks like uh, left a lot of places to add some big time thrusters, and uh, I think that is, uh, yeah, probably be uh, something that you'd want to upgrade uh, when you uh, accumulated more and more things that you put on the ship or in the ship or parked on the ship. Um, wow, I'm not even sure where I am. I think I, I'm walking on this catwalk. Oh, look at the ladder going down there. And this whole like extra area you can kind of walk through here, and this, uh, yeah. Get you to uh, at least some of the uh, the big thrusters on the back. 
and then this uh, yeah that's on one side and I obviously some fuel tanks out in this area and then yeah we've got that going on over here to get you to the other thrusters and probably placement of those thrusters that weren't in place yet yeah which would be in these locations right there Yep, that makes a lot of sense. So you can just kind of, even from the inside, you could uh, just walk up in here and uh, zap those blocks out and uh, pop in a couple more, uh, uh, quite a few more, actually, four per side big XL thrusters. Wow. Yeah, it is a little dark in some of these areas, but yeah, you know, it takes a lot. It takes a lot to light up these big areas like that. And lights... Uh, Fortunately, cost you a lot of us uh, uh, size class, not CPU, but size class. But still, that's cool. That's cool. Again, we got some of the uh, kind of these hull things. I didn't even notice the ones on the top side. They must have been uh, that way on the other side of the ship as well. So that will curve around that way. Let's head this way a little bit here and see where we end up at. Okay, so front shield part rooms. And let's go down this way. Um, that's crazy. I was just looking at all these uh, this texture lights and this big formation of uh, stuff going on here. It's really cool. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's really, really cool. It looks like it could maybe house a big part, but I don't care. I think it looks I think it looks really cool, um, especially with this uh, these like. Uh, deco LCDs in there and things like that. Well, I want deco uh, console parts. Wow. Okay, so let's head through this door. We're back out to the uh, this this really massive hangar area, which is so detailed, so cool. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of uh, texture lights going on here, too. Um, different colors, too. Yeah, they got the, uh, it's kind of like, kind of uh, light blue, and then you got the orange. Uh, very nice. And then we got our side hanger doors here in our repair bay here. So this is like a pass-through hanger. Wow, those are big hanger doors, too. No joke there. That's cool. I like the way that's done. Um, so this, like, yeah, you can uh, basically fly right in, park here, repair, 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 fly right out the other side. Plus, you got this big, big section back over here as well. Wow, that is cool. That is cool. So, the front of the hangar. Wow, there is a lot going on here, too. Holy smokes. Look at this. Oh, that is so cool. Look at this uh, crane mechanism here. Oh, it looks like, okay, so they would run on the tracks. Uh, looks like they would uh, bend out and twist and pick up things and move things. That is that is really cool. Love loved seeing just added detail like that. Like, you didn't need to do that. Um, but, man, it looks so good. It, it really does. I mean, if you're going to add some detail into something like this, make, making, like, larger mechanical-looking parts and things like that, like these cranes, and then even thinking about the track that they would, the, the cranes would run on, that is slick. That is really slick. Again, I, I don't know when you ever sleep. I mean, I I don't I don't think you do. I, I, <laughs> well, that's a big corridor. We'll come back to that. <laughs> or do I want to do that now? Ah, no. Let's just stick on this floor. I'll come back to the hangar and go up the stairs later. Oh, holy smokes! This looks like it came out of some sci-fi movie. Um, that's cool. Oh, look at look at all the storage we got in this area. And oh, is this that area from the from the lower side here? Um, hold on. Yeah, this is that area from the lower side. I'm just kind of wondering how these doors open up. Um, let me get a light on here a second and look around here. So we got a sensor up here, which is doing that door. Maybe these aren't on uh, doors. Maybe this is kind of a staging area, like if you're going to jump out. I don't know. This is cool, though. This is really, really cool. That's a heck of a corridor. Looks like we got some blast doors coming up. Obviously, this, yeah, we're going to have to seriously look at the storage on this. I'm seeing a lot of uh, storage controllers going on here. Oh, what do we got here? Generator access. Yes. 
and it's used as a button. That's that is cool. Oh wow, change of uh, change of color and uh, everything going on in here. So it looks like we got a fusion reactor. Um, and this big mechanism here. That's that's cool. Kind of a big uh, housing kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but it looks really cool. It uh, like this, like it closes, like these uh, big arms. It looks like there's another one on the other side where it like close and maybe uh, you know can cons uh, contain the fusion reactor core uh, kind of thing here. And it looks like we've got emergency services. So we got our shower. I'm seeing the medical equipment there. Here's the uh, Here's the fusion reactor guy, I'm thinking. Um, gonna have our uh, consoles over here. Here in a gravity generator. Oh, look at that gravity generator mount over there. Oh, that's cool too. Just these, yeah, it's just, it's neat how a lot of these things are displayed. You know, you got these big parts, and uh, obviously the, uh, the author here likes to, um, you know, do a really cool thing with all the parts like build like housings for them and make them look like they're integrated in part of the ship and even add in these like bigger bigger uh systems like like what's going on here that's just that that is cool it's very mechanical looking looks uh, uh looks pretty credible looks really really cool for a, a detail aspect very cool for a detail aspect Looks like we got a uh, potential placement for some uh, parts over here, I'm guessing. Uh, looks like that would be, how many blocks is that? Three by three. Yeah. Just, I'm not sure what part would go here. I got to assume that this already has a uh, shield on it, obviously, because it had shield parts and everything. So um, maybe uh, maybe the, uh, this, is this six blocks? Hold on, I'm just curious. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. So yes, this would allow you to put in a uh, an advanced generator there, uh, but it would also fit like a, a shield. Um, yeah, interesting. Maybe that's just uh, extra room for uh, whatever the heck you want to put there. But obviously, you could put in advanced generators. Maybe it has. Uh, maybe there's a vanilla version as well, and maybe that uh, that that area gets used for those. I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. I, I don't know that for sure. Oh, and we got a whole bunch more uh, thrusters running around the sides here. That is cool. I like how they're kind of uh, again, kind of got the framework around them and everything like that. And then you got in interior access to all those thrusters. And yeah, I like the ladders in here too. I'm gonna have to take one of these. Oh man, look at that. We got more storage over here too. Wow. Kind of a little balcony up there. Storage below. Wow. And over here as well. And this thing is uh, quite something here. Are these buttons too? They are buttons. Well, maybe it doesn't do anything, but. Or maybe it does. Enter dialogue state. Nah. <laughs> nice little looking uh, display there too. Wow, uh, there's just a lot going on. Oh, that is an interesting way to do O2. So it's just kind of like there hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> Believe it or not, that actually looks pretty pretty cool that way. I mean, it's it's simple, but it's it's neat. It's kind of a detailed part. I like the light right next to it. It really uh. You get to see the uh, the detail in that part because of that. Now let's take one of these corridors heading this way. Oh yes, yes, we got to have our uh, crew area here, and the really cool looking uh, menu display here, and all the crazy kinds of food here. Black forest cake. Oh, it's got cheesecake. I love cheesecake, by the way. Baklava, baklava. Mmm. Haven't had that in a long time, but love it. Oh, yeah. Eggs and bacon. Spam, bacon, sausage at <laughs> 5 a.m. Uh, main courses. Oh, Jeff's, Jeff's Burger? Oh, oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Pizza? Uh, wow. Yeah, no, this is cool. Oh, you can get some real chicken. Yeah, there's fake chicken and there's real chicken. Um, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, the drinks over here. Excalibur's Grunge, Bollinger's Coffee. Wow. Now, that's just, <laughs> wow. Look at this thing. 
that looks so cool though i mean uh nice uh, awesome lcd work around there the whole idea of having this uh this fancy glass here rounded off the way that is that looks so nice uh the way the the menu is uh, displayed um really really is very convincing um and i like the uh the uh wood grain floor in here too it's just oh you gotta have the plant this one's got a plant too more than one plant three plants in this room itself here oh our medic over there oh yeah this is this is oh this looks nice i like the uh it's got all white carpet um or at least gray carpet all our medical stuff armor locker in here too um yeah, O2, that, yeah, it's got all kinds of stuff going on for it. Oh, yep, yeah, we got to have our toilet and shower in, in the medical area as well. And, uh-oh, this goes somewhere else. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Uh, okay, so, well, uh, wow. Sorry, I'm starting to freak out a little bit. This thing is just so crazy. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, that's our main core up there. What a what a core display! My goodness. Yeah, 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 yeah. And our teleporter right in the middle here. I like the uh, the big LCDs over here. Um, yeah, I've, I've seen these before. I know I know where they came from. I used uh, I think I used this one before, or I used one of them before in the uh, the uh, supremacy. And our warp drive up there. Wow, look at this room. Where did this room come from? Or is this... Oh, this is on the other side of those... Uh, that amazing crane area. Do you, see, do you see what's going on here? I mean, when you look down that... This this way here, this corridor. All the stuff. I mean, it looks like it's like out of a sci-fi movie. Like, I don't know. It's really, really, really cool, though. Um, huge constructor alley over here. And obviously, there's... Uh, this thing's got... I'm... I can't even guess right now on how much storage is actually in this ship. Oh, we got these, uh, where does this go? Okay, so that's like a, a way out from the top here. I gotta assume that there's some kind of mechanism that probably opens these, uh, these doors up. Just don't exactly know what that is, or maybe not. Oh, probably this. Yeah, cargo hats. Oh, slick. It looks like we got blast doors down below there too. I didn't even notice that. You can, or maybe no, those aren't blast doors. Blast doors sometimes certain angles uh, they they light up a little bit at night. I thought that was blast doors. It's not blast doors though. But yeah, I like I like this uh, switch mechanism. I kind of like using these two. These are kind of like a, uh, a kind of more of a toggle on off. Um, and I didn't I didn't uh, and I just recently discovered that that this piece can do that too. Um, as I was building the, uh, the, uh, uh Proxima, um, in which I decided to use that to activate the, uh, the holodeck thing. And I thought that was a neat idea. I'd so, so rather do this than add in a switch in a lot of, uh, cases. And I didn't even know that was a thing, uh, before then, that you could use that as a switch. Oh, we got a deconstructor over here, too. Obviously a room for a whole bunch more, um stuff over here too a whole bunch more production and i bet you yeah on the other side here another constructor alley uh man okay so you can do just i mean this thing is obviously set up to do to move a lot of uh a lot of ships a lot of storage a lot of production um wickedly cool <laughs> wickedly cool here, i'm gonna fly up here a minute check out this balcony mezzanine area going along the top of that of course, you got to have this area. Wow. All right. Well, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get lost, but uh, I'll just keep on uh, getting through here. Find uh, new rooms here. Stern. Uh, let's let's try wait five. Oh wow! I didn't even notice this from the ground, but yeah, this big catwalk going over the uh, this uh, hangar section around here. Yeah, I had more storage. <laughs> oh yeah, this thing is, uh, I'm pretty sure it has an abundance of uh, storage on it. Um, I can see why, uh, you know, that uh, the author uh, set it up to really upgrade those thrusters and things like that. It looks like here's a quick, 
quick way out or a way out of the ship. Okay, so four is ammunition storage. Oh, okay, ammo storage right up there. And that is ammo storage. All right, engineering hydroponics. Haven't been there yet. So that would be on this deck, right? So it says three. So let's follow this around. Oh, yeah, of course, there's a corridor off to the side over here. And a whole other areas here. Looks like we got a crew room over there. Probably a crew court. Oh, I like that. I didn't even notice that. That's really small. But yeah, it's cool. It's just, yeah. Crew quarter. And they're all they're all numbered too. You got it. Well, you know that that's helpful. If you're new new to the ship and you don't know what room you're supposed to uh, be living in, um, they are all labeled. <laughs> and what's over here? Looks like a uh, kind of a storage cargo area. This actually is coming off out oh, gym. Oh man. And this kind of uh, wraps around to another part of the hangar here. And let's follow the, uh, bad. Okay. Holy man. Okay. This thing is just big. Wow. So now we're in this whole section here. Oh yeah. We kind of, we were, we were down there before and I was looking at the core should be up in here, but this is like another level that kind of goes through here. <clears throat> Auxiliary core station. Jeez. Bathrooms over here. Sink. Wow. Yeah, this is quite a ship to tour, that's for sure. Oh, it looks like the bridge would be that way. I'll, I'll uh, try to head that way in a second to see if I missed anything out in here. It did say hydroponics, and I have yet to uh, find that. Let me uh, look at the signs again here. Okay, so that one's not saying anything about hydroponics. Where did I see that? This was, oh yeah, the gym too, yeah. And storage. Okay, so this must be storage. And we got some crew areas along here. Oh yeah, the gym, there it is. The LCD at the end of the hallway. Glad you put these things in here, I'd be totally lost. But at least I can follow the signs. And this looks like uh, maybe a shower room for a gym, maybe? And, oh yeah, okay, this, I think, is this the gym? Is this like a barge and hang on and, no. Or is it? I don't know. No. If gym means sitting around and eating and drinking, I don't think so. So, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure where I am right now. So, we're over in this area. got this uh, glass window there. Okay, so it did say gym was this way, right? Yeah, Jim, this way. Is it through here? No, I gotta say this probably is the gym. Um, and this is like some different exercise equipment and this may be like a uh, hanging bars and things like that. Obviously the game doesn't really give you much of anything that you could uh, put in there as a gym. Maybe these are some kind of uh, like uh, games, games here or something too. Uh, so I think I think this would this would be the gym. Yeah, different like exercise equipment. Very cool, very cool. Wow, <laughs> wow. Stern landing pad. Okay, so production medic. I, where is the oh hydroponics it says it's on this floor too i have a feeling i'm missing something here so we're on three it does say that engineering hydroponics crew areas and cpu are on three crew area oh maybe this is just part of the crew area maybe that no i did say jim that way Notice a little, uh, you notice the, the color fade here on this LCD too. It's like it doesn't stick out very much, but you can see that each each one of these is like a, a different shaded uh, color. I thought that, just little things like that. That's just neat. Neat to see. 
All right. But it says hydroponics is here. Uh, maybe, maybe I walk around to the other side. Wait, wait, wait. Crew quarters. Okay, no, it's saying Jim is this way, too. CPU room. Okay, we've been there. And more storage here. Wow, look, look at all the storage. It's everywhere. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure, not sure where the hydroponics is. I'm getting so lost. Where's this go? Of course it goes places. Why wouldn't it go places? Holy smokes. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like we got some fuel in the old two storage areas over here. More corridors. More corridors. More storage. Jeez. I don't yeah, I don't even want to guess how much storage this thing has. I don't know how many of these uh, container controllers I have seen so far. There's a lot though. There's definitely a lot. Okay, let's go this way. External area, no oxygen. Okay, so now we're getting kind of... Oh, yeah, we ain't. This is... Holy smokes. Okay, I, I get what's going on here. This ship is just so enormous that you got, like, big sections that are on one side or the other. So I'm only kind of, like, looking down part of it. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of catwalks. <laughs> ladders. Man, there, there's, there's stuff everywhere. But I got this mission goal where I want to find hydroponics. And I'm not sure which way I am going, but it did say something about being on this floor. But this floor is quite large. Uh, nope. Not that way. I know it's a little dark. And, and um, honestly, too, just to show you guys, um, on uh, I was kind of complaining about the lighting in this game uh, the other day uh, after the changes. But if we take a look... Um, my video settings right now you can see that I actually have my brightness set to 40 um, I haven't messed with the contrast so as dark as it is on the screen it's still set to 40 and that's really I've, I've been really having a problem with that with a lot of things since the, uh, the lighting changes um, there's like non-existent like ambient light for the most part and um, it really makes it rough because everything uh, gets so dark so easily um, and you, if you use any darker tones at all, it kind of just kind of fades to black. Um, I think uh, Metallica wrote a song about that back in the day. But, uh, yeah, I kind of wish uh, there was some more, uh, I don't know, ambient light in the game, um, I think would be really, really helpful. Um, because it's it's nearly impossible to try to uh, take a crease in this this big and put lights everywhere. You, you would ramp up your size class so much by having... Uh, like uh, light every four or five blocks on every single hallway through here. I'm lost, guys. I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost. I feel like I'm running from aliens. Are there aliens that are going to come out here and get me? The ship's about as big as that ship from the first Alien movie, I, I would say. Um, <laughs> actually getting a little nervous now. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding, by the way. Um, all right. Well, I don't know where I'm going or where I'm at now. I'm. I just. I got myself totally lost. Um, but it doesn't say anything about hydroponics on this sign. Um, but it does say hydroponics here. And this should be deck three. Oh, we. And we've been at. We've been to the lounge. I think, unless that was a different facility. Wow. I don't, re I don't recall seeing this area. Oh, wait, lounge over this way. Let me just see if that is the lounge I did walk through before with the fancy menu. And is it here? Nope. Uh, no. No, this is a different place. Oh, look at the uh, look at the crazy block work going on here, all trippy. Yeah, that's cool too. Interesting, interesting. 
just yeah <laughs> that's cool got it got out the picture oh here here looks like a dartboard over here wow okay oh man I'm still trying to find hydroponics I haven't been to the bridge yet either okay so lounge crew okay let's look at signs again hydroponics it does say this floor is it does it mean like no there's nothing there man there's so many corridors and hallways and places and on this hydroponics where are you <laughs> it's probably everybody's probably screaming at the screen it's like you just passed it for the fifth time well, I didn't see it yet let's let's go this way Holy smokes. Oh my goodness. And so the alien corridors again. We just need flickery lights in here. Flickery lights. Um, and, and some some nasty sound effects. See hearing little things scampering around the uh, you know the the ventilation ducts and things. Set up some sentry guns to stop them at that point over there. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know. I don't know where the. I don't know where hydroponics is. I just don't know where hydroponics is. Uh, but it's probably a. Oh my goodness, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. A lot. Um, here, I get the light on a little bit here. Uh, okay, not that way. All right, I'm officially lost. I am so lost now. Here, I'm gonna fly out of the ship and I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna cheat. Here, let me get some light on here too a second. And I oh I haven't been up to the bridge yet either. Okay. Okay. So let's I'm gonna fly in this way and we're gonna backtrack a little bit here. Now let's try that. So I've been here before. Recognize this. Yeah, there's our core again. And this is not the bridge, by the way. It's just a window. Mm. <laughs> yep, in here. All right, uh, man, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure this has a big hydroponics area or, uh, you know, farm area. But I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm cheating now. I'm cheating. I'm trying to find stuff. Okay, we've been... No, we haven't. This is like another big uh, fusion core room, but it doesn't have a fusion core installed currently on this side. Maybe, maybe it was on the other side. Yes. Okay, so we've been through this side. Keep in mind how big this thing is. Holy smokes, man. All right. Well, anyway, I know I've been on this ship for a long time now, and I'm and I just wow, and there's just more and more places everywhere. Wow, look at this. I didn't even see this before either. Yeah, something like this just requires a, uh, a really big tour going through here. I guess I did kind of see this area, but not... Yeah, you can see where you put on all your uh, aux cores. Let's follow this up to the bridge here. Do I have... I'll turn off the... Oh, light is off. Let me uh, set the, uh, the lighting back again here. And look at the... Uh, oh, wow. This looks, this looks slick. Subspace control, sensor control... I like how that's done. Just kind of yeah, using the uh, the big blocks um, and putting the uh, the LCDs over them. Weapon control, engine control. Looks like pilot seats. Uh, some co-pilots. Open one over there. Wow, a deck below here too. War scanner. Man. Yeah. Wow, this is this is just this is this is insane. This is uh this is definitely insane. A very 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 cool ship. And again, I haven't found hydroponics yet. Darn it. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, uh, after the comments, you can rag on me and say that I'm an idiot and how I pass hydroponics like five or six times and and whatever. But uh, I will uh, I will try to look at the uh, the grow plots here. I'll start looking at some specs here on this ship. I I'm pretty positive I missed more areas of the ship um it's just it is a giant giant ship so stat wise here um 
size class 33 so that does explain the the uh, giantness of it uh, it is a, it is a big ship um, however I mean you're looking at the uh, the speeds and specs at least stock without adding in all those extra uh, big XL thrusters and stuff it can still do 71 forward 35 reverse 35 lift 18 strafing and 18 down uh, 92 fuel tanks 24 oxygen tanks um, just check I want to check one thing on this too just see what the uh, try to get an idea what the base hull material is it looks like we are carbon on this one that explains it I mean this is a giant sh oh not entirely no maybe in I don't know. I, I think maybe it's more selective on what is going on where, but uh, I would probably say the base hull material might be carbon substrate, but I have a feeling like uh, some areas like this is steel over here, so it's kind of a mixed material hull, which is probably a smart thing to do, especially on something this, this large. If it was all made of steel, it would weigh a lot, um, and uh, you can uh, seriously get some weight reduction by not doing that, and especially if it's a, a shield dependent. It's probably a good idea to do, really. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, three. See? Hydroponics right there. Hydroponics, okay, so... Okay, and it said three. Three is hydroponics. I, 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 I'm sorry, I just feel compelled to find hydroponics. I don't know why. Haven't been able to find it yet, <laughs> but I know it exists, but I don't know where. <laughs> I've been, uh... Okay, what about in here? No, crew area, okay. About here, this looks familiar, like I've been kind of through here before. Uh, here. Nope. I don't know. I do not know. Okay, well, I'll, uh, yeah, I've been down these corridors over here. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where hydroponics is. I cannot find it. I've been, I thought I'd been all over, uh, deck three here, but I, uh, I obviously haven't been. Nope. All right. Well, anyway, um, all right, so now a stat I'm really curious about, too. A couple of them. Um, let's see what its CPU is stock here. Okay, so obviously it's going to need some uh, extra CPU. Uh, looks like it has your standard uh, 2.1 million cores installed stock, but is going to need quite a bit of uh, quantum cores or auxiliary cores, crew members, or even potentially hamsters, hamster cores. I mean, um, let's take a look at storage. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh man, this isn't even scrolling down very fast. Oh boy, guys, I, I don't even, I'm not going to read all it all off, you can see it, you can see it, I think. Do you see these numbers? See these numbers here? I bet you they're all 320s. Well, it says all these are, but, alright, let's, but, yeah, these ones down here, oh my god. Uh, okay, so we're uh, biggest number I've seen 138 here so far. Yeah, that might be it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you can pick up enough stuff with this ship. I, I think you might need to add some more of these. <laughs> oh man, and the, yeah, and I, I bet you. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this thing has an enormous amount of storage capacity in it. Enormous amount. Um, you know, 138 of like unnamed ones, um, I do believe, plus, you know, all of this, all of these other named ones over here, which is, <sighs> fridge hydroponics, where are you, where are you, hydroponics? Ah, uh, then again, you know, I was like meandering around probably half the ship, and I bet you there's like the other half the ship I haven't even looked at. 
Uh, well, I don't know. It's a big hangar area back there. So maybe, maybe I hit most of the rooms, but I'm pretty sure I missed areas. Anyway, uh, amazing creation. I've been on this for a long time looking at it. I knew it was a, a giant creation. I wanted to try to uh, give it a really good look here, but uh, wow, uh, huge, incredible job on this. Um, again, I'm not sure how you build so many uh, of these uh, giant beautiful ships uh quickly like you do but uh you do so um awesome work yet again um again here by uh ente um uh, this is the uh stellar endeavor for reforged eden all right so next is uh something a whole lot smaller um a couple things that are a whole lot smaller here um so this one here, I happened to see uh, playing in the Anvil server looking at base tours the other day. thought it was really slick, and the author said they were going to get that out soon, and uh, the author did. Uh, this is the SI Com Combine by Strife, and this is also for... Uh, I got it labeled as Reforged Eden because I've seen it in Reforged Eden. Um, this is a uh, kind of like a big, massive, uh, powerful tree cutter, sort of. But it is so cool looking. I just uh, love the detail on it. It's uh, It does kind of resemble that of a, a big industrial uh, farming combine. Um, and I'm sure it was absolutely modeled after one of those. Love the tracks. This is a hover vessel, by the way. Um, I love this uh, back uh, framing area, too. That looks so detailed. Um, almost looks like it's from a different game. A lot of thin block usage and uh, a lot of uh, texture detail going on there. Cool looking tracks. Love how the uh, the hover engines are placed down kind of in there. And you've got your uh, your strafing thrust there. And then this big uh, front like combine area, which is, uh, I, yeah, I, I, this thing would just cut down a whole row of trees all at once, I do believe, uh, pretty easily. And then it would... Uh, and this, this had like an advanced function on it too, I do believe. I would have to look at the, the post, but I think it's it, you can kind of set it up to when it uh, when you're cutting down the wood, it has a processing in it, so you can take that wood and turn it into a plant fiber and then maybe turn it into like fuel all at once as you're, uh, as you're uh, doing your uh, tree cutting. Um, look at this. I like this, uh, like this area over here too. Got a storage controller there. It's all this little detail too that you see. You see how this uh, got this kind of connection going from like the uh, front area to the back area, probably like a uh, one of the chutes or something to get those products in there. Actually, this is probably what the top one is for. That looks so good. That looks so good. Two turrets on the on the top. Got your uh, you got your uh, lights. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought this was a really cool looking creation here. Let's get in the cab here a minute. Oh yeah, so we've got some uh, utility. It's like an armor locker and a uh, trauma station, fridge, uh, O2, whole bunch of constructors. I think this is uh, this is part of it. Like, like you can basically process everything that you're uh, chopping down, even though this can chop down a lot quickly. Uh, but you got five constructors back here. To take that stuff and process it into uh, the product you want out of the uh, out of the wood, uh, could be carbon substrate, could be could be uh, biofuel, could be a lot of different things. Um, I suppose whatever you set that up to uh, to make. I like this uh, this I like this area too. It's just kind of subtle, you know. It's like you see the round uh, blocks here, which look really cool, and then it kind of just uh, does this on the back. Uh, using the uh, the thin blocks to match that with the uh, the different colors going on there too, so the yellow and the green. Obviously, trying to look like uh, farm equipment, which is uh, would be a pretty typical color or something like that. Uh, you know what? I think this was sitting here for so long, it ran out of power. Sorry about that. Probably look better with all the texture lights on there. I uh, yeah, apologize for that. Let's take a look at this at night too, just to see how that lights up. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's just one of those uh, things. A huge amount of detail into it, and it's uh, you know obviously inspired by something in reality. 
um, and uh, painted that way. And uh, yeah, it, it does have a function. I mean, you got to be seriously into tree cutting, but uh, I mean, this is cool. I mean, if you're going to go for a tree cutter, this is a, uh, you want to cut a lot of trees down fast. I think the author, what, when he was uh, speaking about it said uh, like he took it out once and got so much trees. He didn't need to take it out again for like, a huge amount of uh, game time or, or never needed any more wood after that. Uh, I can see this doing that pretty easily. Very cool design there. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of uh, utility function there too. Let's take a look at some specs here. So it's not trying to break the bank on CPU at all. Um, so let's see, uh, CPU 33,000. Well, obviously it goes to 60,000 if you max out your blocks. So this is... Uh, some combination of uh, blocks. I'm sure probably a, a basic, a couple improved. I'm not sure. Uh, it might have a, uh, an advance in here as well. Maybe. 2 hour and 48 minute build time. Uh, yeah, two minigun turrets, detector. Uh, good good speeds here. Um, 85 uh, MS uh, forward and backwards. Uh, 34 strafing. Uh, let's take a look at its storage. So it looks like we got a 32K and another 32K. Then an ammo controller at 2,500. Cargo box and a fridge. So 64K total storage. It's quite a lot. I mean, for a tree cutter, this is this is certainly one of the biggest tree cutters I've seen. Um, looks like it is capable of cutting a lot of trees very, very quickly as well. Yeah, again, very, very cool creation. Um, very pretty. Looks neat. Looks like it would, uh, you know, if you it, it do the job just fine. Plus, you can process, like, everything that you're doing, like, right on the fly as you're doing it. So, that 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 is a really cool feature there. All right. Well, um, God, did I miss anything on here? I don't think so. All right. Next here, this is a, a pick that I uh, found on new releases. And this is by an author I've uh, unfamiliar with. Um, this is uh, the Na uh, Navistar 7000 Cargo. Um, the author's name is uh, uh, it's it's weird how it's how it's said, but it's the the worst on three. It looks like, but it's uh, like TH3 period W O R five T period zero N three. Um, so I just seen this up there and, and the, uh, the picture looked really good. It looked like it was a really, uh, credible looking, uh, uh, truck, uh, like, like tanker kind of truck. And I just thought that was, uh, looked really nice. And I liked the, uh, I liked the detail on it, um, quite a bit there. So I was just, yeah, one of those picks, I was just, uh, going through there and like seeing, seeing what was there. And, uh, this sort of showed up, um, it didn't have much, uh, information on it, um, didn't really say if it was for vanilla or uh, Reforged Eden. Um, probably vanilla then, if, if it doesn't say Reforged Eden specifically. I know I'm showing it in Reforged Eden though, but um, nah, yeah, I, I definitely like this. Uh, I like the, I like uh, a lot of this uh, block work going on here, especially uh, forming these steps. Thought that was pretty slick, and then you've got, of course, your uh, your fenders and things like that. Um, big ol' uh, like tank over here. Oh yeah, it really is a fuel tank. <laughs> That's cool. That is cool. And uh, yeah, the wheels are uh, done done pretty interestingly there too. I know I know we for larger wheels. I mean, you don't really have much options on how you can round them off very well. Um, but uh, yeah, that looks pretty cool. It looks like it kind of has some rims in there too. And we've got our uh, thrusters, it looks like, on the inside there. This is, again, another HV. Let's see what's in back here. Oh, it looks like we got a cargo controller over here. Cargo manifest. Looks like a 32K controller back there. I like the um, I like the, uh, the, the exhaust uh, pipe here, too. And, oh, uh, yeah, and the one on this side, too. That looks really nice. Huh. Let's take a look at the underside. Oh, look at that. We got kind of like, uh, well, I got some RCS in here, and it kind of looks like some form of, uh, like, drive shaft going on here. Well, no, actually, those are fuel lines, I would say. Um, we got uh, 
A little bit of uh, suspension going on back here. And on the front. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I like to see, I don't know, I'm, I'm a, I am I'm a sucker for just seeing people making, like, whatever they want to make, you know? I mean, some things, uh, obviously, I, you know, it's, like, really cool for function, and other things are, like, it's just really cool. I like to, I like to see the, uh, the inspired creativity and things like that of just, like, making a detailed-looking, uh, like, truck for the game that, you know, especially from a little bit of distance, you know, it looks very realistic. I mean, obviously, when you get really close up, Imperium doesn't have all the blocks to do all this stuff right. It was never really made to do wheeled creations, but um, still, um, love it. I uh, This stuff is really, really cool. Let's get in the cab here a second. Oh, this looks nice, too. I like that. Uh, I like the center console there. It's got a fridge in there, an O2. And a passenger seat there. Yeah, I mean it's 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 that's just cool. Oh, look at the the floor plating there. That's kind of interesting too. I, it actually looks pretty good in this. I I don't use this texture hardly at all actually, but uh, it actually kind of looks good for that. Anyway, yeah, very very cool creation. So it's a 32k storage uh, truck. <laughs> Uh, pretty much like uh, what it says, uh, 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 Navistar 7000 Cargo. Um, very, very cool. This is, again, by The Worst on 3, uh, the author I was unfamiliar with. But, yeah, I look forward to seeing what uh, this author comes up with uh, in the future here. It's uh, pretty well shaped and uh, pretty, pretty cool. All right, so the, uh, no, not the last creation of the day. Let's... Uh, Let's look at that one there last. Let's go over to this this guy over here. This is the uh, Smuggler's Oasis by Bo Boba Brett. And uh, yeah, I seen this up on the uh, on the spotlight, and I was really loving the uh, the block work in combination with the with the texture uh, theme. And it looked pretty authentic. Um, definitely, that it gives me that uh, Tatooine kind of uh, vibe here, big time. Um, yeah, I think that I, I'm pretty sure this is based around that or, or at least inspired by that, too. But uh, just the architecture of the buildings kind of looking like a, more of a, like a mud brick kind of uh, uh, thing with some tech stuff in the, in the mix. Um, but some old school stuff as well. Kind of like a, a bras of like, yeah, something technical and then like something really kind of like more old fashioned, I guess you could say. Um, oh, yeah, I like the little light there, too. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is quite pretty. It looks like this is uh, there's quite a few components to this. So obviously we got a big repair bay or landing pad repair bay in this section here. Look at that damage blocks too. Oh, and they tried to put uh, yeah, someone tried to patch it with some wood over the top of that. I see what happened there. Yeah, that's a yeah, that's a backyard mechanic uh, work there. Um, we got over here. Oh, well, looks like we've got some uh, some storage, like this big oxygen uh, setup over here. That's interesting. That's really cool. A lot of framework. I like the uh, the staircase. Oh, and some wood mixed in with some um, some metal and uh, yeah, some rusty stuff. That's cool. So over here, I bet you uh, it looks like a big propane tank here, but I bet you does it have any fuel? No. Nah. Maybe that's just decoration, but uh, that is cool. And these uh, look like they're landing pads as well. Oh, and, yeah, another damage block there. Some pipes down there with the uh, the deco piece. Hmm. That's that's cool. Oh, that's that's coming up from the crowd. <laughs> Sorry about that. I try to I try to uh, spawn this right, but I was struggling again, like normal, trying to find enough flat land to actually. Uh, get everything mounted right. I tried to do pretty decent, though. But yeah, there's a couple bleed-throughs here. Well, anyway, let's start touring some buildings here. I like this uh, entryway. Uh, it looks like I bur buried this one a little bit, but okay, it looks like we, this is a generator room. It's got its own O2. What do we got in this building here? Huh, I don't recall seeing this particular... Um, piece. 
maybe it was there all the time and I just I, I didn't uh, didn't ever try it but yeah that looks, that looks cool ah our farm looks like we've got 18 grow plots over here I like oh that's really snazzy how the uh, grow lights are done there again I like the uh, I like the general like mud mud brick kind of uh, decor with you know tech stuff kind of mixed in occasionally or, or the parts it, it, it seems quite fitting everything's lit up so yeah this looks like a totally functional farm love the uh, love the deco uh, round blocks here with that particular texture kind of angled the way it is that looks, that looks really cool kind of made a, a new pattern I can't say I've seen before ever um, just, just goes to show you how much uh, different possibilities you have in this game of what you can do. Like, this is, like, totally unique from everything else we looked at today. Um, and yet, you could, yeah, there's so many things you can do. Um, loading area only. So, oh, yeah. This looks like some, uh, at least a furnace set up over here. So, we got these two furnaces. Really cool looking housing for, for housings for the uh, furnaces. Whole, whole way it's done kind of how they're sunk in the floor with the uh, the caution there and this big uh, well this one's actually a little broken over here we got the you know but uh, yeah that, that looks really cool it looks hot it looks uh, you know and speaking of lighting I haven't uh, I didn't switch it over to nighttime when I was walking through here either so I usually like to do to just uh, accent the uh, the lights uh, it can really change the appearance of uh, especially interior space of a creation depending on how the lights were set up a lot of uh, a lot of neat stuff going on here though like the like the the wires and a lot of it looks like ad hoc which is intentional um, like you know this was a mud brick building and someone's like I want to put in these constructors here and started running this high this more high-tech stuff kind of around to get it all hooked up and working um, so that, that is cool so yeah we got a couple advanced constructors over here uh, obviously we got some uh, solar capacitors there so I gotta assume we got some solar panels chilling somewhere too and oh look at this we got our uh, armor uh, armor repair armor locker uh, med bay it looks like a storage controller over there cargo boxes in this corner <laughs> that's just neat how it's set up obviously yeah it's just got a lot of, a lot of character to it and we got this uh pretty crazy insane spiral staircase here it uh, goes up to here which looks like we got our CPU room and our core room here I like the ceiling interesting uh, yeah nice and round got some of that uh, decorative uh, uh, st concrete type of texture there is very cool. Oh, we're up on the uh, we're up on the roof here. There's stuff up on the roof here, so we got a antenna of some origin there, and some thingies over here too, like smokestacks or something like that. Oh yeah, the, well there was uh yeah part, probably part of the, uh, the 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 furnace assembly, probably uh, that would be like the exhaust from that. Which makes a lot of sense actually wow yeah so that yeah that's that's really cool that's really cool so it's kind of like okay it's a base complex but you got like a farm over there you've got some landing pads you got a big big uh landing repair bay uh o2 storage um and then obviously over here it looks like your production facility um and let's see what this building over here is Oh, the uh, the Tipsy Xerox <laughs> Bar and Grill. You got to have one of those. I mean, it's important. I mean, think how bored you would be if you just had this to do all day and you're out on the middle of the desert somewhere. You got to have it. Got to have the tavern, the bar. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, we got a medic up here too. Oh, interesting. So that's like wood, decorative wood. Uh, it's using like the pipe stuff, but I. Yeah, that's, that looks cool. And look at this really cool LCD up here with the the big nasty looking like squid skull head. Um, no refunds either. Virtual bartender. I don't know if I'd want to talk to that dude. He's pretty scary looking. That's, yeah, kind of done in like the ANSI uh, 
the characters that way. Making a very distinguished shape there. That that's cool. And and this uh, particular deco part just happens to look really really good with with the uh, surrounding setup, the color of the LCD, the color of the lighting. It just really really fits well. That is a really cool choice uh, of a deco item to put there, or anything at all really. Uh, that's uh, that looks pretty cool. Love the uh, love the curves rounds. Oh, I like this texture in the back of the uh, the walls here, too. Yeah, it does kind of uh, resemble, like, there is a, um, not in the city I live in, there is a, uh, a kind of an old-school Mexican restaurant uh, on the other side of town. And, uh, yeah, it, can, it, it has a, uh, a lot of this kind of uh, look to it. Um, so, yeah, it just, it just kind of, it feels right. Everything about this feels uh, really good here. Got an ATM. Looks like that's a real ATM. Yep, base. Yep. And let's go. Let's go see the medic. Oh, the medic's into some some neat, neaty looking plants here. Oh yeah, look at this. Medic's even got his nice, nice uh, tiled floor here. All trying to be all clean. That's cool. So we got all our medical equipment in here, um, and of course the armor locker there. And a bedroom and a shower, or or just a place for the uh, sick patient to sit. But it kind of looks like more like the uh, where the medic might uh, live, potentially. Yeah, very very cool, very cool creation here. I think that is all of it here. Let's get the lights back on. It looks really good with the lights on too, especially in daytime. Um, uh, just just a, the choice of the textures and uh, the general decor of it. Uh, really cool. But anyway, let's take a look at some specs here. So we got a six hour and one minute build time on this. Um, doesn't have a lot of defense, but uh, enough to shoot down a, you know those pesky drones that might come by with a missile turret here. A couple retractable, oh, and a couple retract, retractable positron beam turrets. Um, size class five. Uh, seven fuel tanks, uh, four oxygen tanks. Um, let's take a look at uh, oh CPU. Uh, I wish I was more familiar on the uh, the bases in Reforged Eden on how far they go up in CPU, because I don't exactly know what 470,000 is for a base and how many like uh, CPU blocks it might have. But let's see if. Uh, Thought we could find that in here somewhere, or maybe not. But anyway, it uses uh, 395,000 um, CPU. Obviously, it, uh, I, I don't believe this is top tier in CPU um, at all. But I'm I don't know the number right off the top of my head. It's been a while since I looked into building the base, especially for Reforged Eden. Um, besides a, a, a real small starter thing. So I guess I'm not familiar what tier this actually it would be, um, but I wouldn't think any more than three. But I could be mistaken on that. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Let's, okay, so storage in here. Um, looks like we've got four uh, container controllers, and then we got some boxes. We do have an ammo box, makes sense. And we got a 320, another 320. Another 320 and another 320. Okay, so four uh, four 320k controllers in the uh, setup as well. Very uh, very authentic. I like it. I like it. It's it's a it's a different way to go with the base. It kind of spread out. Feels uh, feels more I don't know realistic and, and it really fits well with the setting. Even on I mean this probably isn't the ideal type of planet for it. Uh, but uh, I can imagine that, you know, desert type planets and things like that, this would look really uh, fitting on. Um, and it looks pretty good even on this one, which is just an arid planet. Um, very nice. Very nice. Again, this is the uh, Smuggler's Oasis by Boba Brett. So the last creation of, of the day here is this, uh, well, it's not a small ship, but man, compared to like what's sitting next to it, it looks pretty small. <laughs> this is the... Uh, Oh boy, I've got a word I'm going to have a hard time saying here. 
our our Reguma wizard class by uh, 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 Procon Loter. Man, I screwed that up, didn't I? <laughs> Here, here, did you hear the uncertainty in my voice when I said that? Uh, yeah, that's probably why. Uh, so, uh, A R A I G U M A Wizard Class by uh, uh, Procon Loter again. I'll just say it again. Um, maybe uh, not not quite as scary this time. But this, yeah, this is a cool looking ship. This uh, looks like it's going to be a more combat oriented ship here. Um, all right, I think this is the only combat-oriented ship I really looked at today. The rest of these are kind of like uh, carriers and things like that. Um, so, yeah, just checking this out. Really cool shaping. Uh, I like the, uh, the the black or the, uh, the the dark shade kind of mixed in with the, uh, the, the lighter panels in there. It kind of breaks up everything, makes it look like individual, like, armored pieces around here. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the, uh, the, uh, color added in there on the back to just that, that one stripe there. Um, that looks really cool. Cool looking thruster housing too. It's got some pretty meaty thrust on here. A couple XLs and four, uh, large thrusters. Um, yeah, strafing thrust. Yeah, it looks like, uh, run an XL strafing thruster there and XL, uh, reverse thrust. Uh, quite a lot of turrets, obviously, on here. I'm trying to see what you had for lift. Oh, yeah, big. Uh, so it looks like two XL lift thrusters and four large lift thrusters. Yeah, it's cool. Let's see what's going on up here. All right, we got to have our artillery uh, cannons up top there and a bunch more turrets. Um, down, down thrust there. It's like a little bit of a, I don't know, maybe a, like a, like a little landing pad, uh, for something small. And then, uh, a way in right there as well. Let me just see if it has a way in from the bottom side somewhere too. Oh, I heard something. There it is. So yeah, let's get in this. Here. Let me do the lighting thing here a minute. Oh, this this looks sharp, nice and subtle. I mean, it looks yeah, like a, kind of a completely different look than the exterior on the inside. This is kind of like that. You know, got the the cool space lighting. Um, looks looks this looks like our uh, CPU core room over here, as it said, <laughs> our aux aux core room. Um, so yeah, definitely uh, room to put in aux auxiliary or quantum cores, things like that there. Now it looks like we're uh, right into some utility here. So we got our armor uh, locker O2. Uh, looks like some uh, some shield parts here, some medium-sized sealed parts or a part um, constructor. Uh, yeah, yeah, nice, nice and uh, yeah, straight to the point. I don't think I'll get lost in this ship. It takes something pretty small for me not to get lost in. Uh, <laughs> Well, not that this is small, but I'm just saying it's, you know, comparatively speaking. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, and that is uh, our main core is right there at the base of the elevator. Looks like we have another CPU block here. So now we're going to get up to three. So this, I guess this is one because I came in from the bottom. So this is three. Oh, two is above it. Okay, so that would be actually four. Oh, look at this. Okay, so we got our, uh, looks like some storage controllers or ammo controllers in this area. A couple generators. Looks very nice. And what we got back here? Oh, this looks sharp, too. So it looks like we're getting into our Pentaxa tank. Uh, more shield parts. Quite a few more shield parts. Uh, and we've got our, uh, uh, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, that is... Okay, that is the warp drive. It was... For some odd reason, the way I came in and seen it, uh, the way it's displayed, it looked like something a little different. I should have should have picked on to these... Uh, the, the pink lighting here, but that looks really cool set up this way. 
it uh, really changes the uh, look of a warp drive quite a bit. Interesting. Yeah, it's these little things like that. I don't I don't know if I've seen a seen it quite look like this before, but yeah, that's, that's really cool looking. And we obviously have our Pentaxa tank. I think I mentioned that already. Over here. I'm positive this has a shield somewhere, and I have a feeling maybe it's maybe down in this area somewhere. No, that's our long-range radar there. I should quit flying through the walls here. I'll probably come across it. Storage control on the floor. Let's head this way. Okay, so three. Let's go up to two. Ah, look at this. Even has uh, even has a uh, place to chill and eat over here. And uh, looks like a medical bay over in the uh, the side there. Nice, nice. And yeah, like a kind of a kitchen. I like how this is done too, where you got the uh, the opening on actually showing the back side of that. Actually, it's kind of sensible. I've seen some uh, some some things set up that way in real life. Nice little chill out place over here. Looks like we got some beds, shower, bathroom. Um, gravity generator off the one side over there. Television. And it looks like we go up another floor. Wow, there's... Wow. Yeah, there's quite a bit in this ship. I wasn't I wasn't so sure, you know. I was like, yeah, I know, kind of combat-oriented. And I figured, yeah, not much room inside, probably. Uh, um, I'm surprised to see all the stuff that is in here. That is a cool-looking bridge, too. I love this uh, heads-up... Uh, set up over here and that's actually like glass uh glass pieces used there and then the uh, lcds are kind of projected inside of that which uh makes it look even cooler and uh oh more place for auxiliary cores over here it looks like too and there oh and here's our here's that thing here so we're a bridge crew room medic area engine room core and constructor makes sense so four decks on here Wow. Yeah, it all looks really nice. It all looks really nice. So we got our armor repair over there. We got some... Oh, yeah. And our blast door uh, set up going out to the uh, the landing pad out back here. Which is pretty convenient, too. You can land there, uh, roll right through that door, and then, bam, you're instantly, like, into your uh, pilot seat here. And you got a couple... Uh, 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 well, at least one passenger seat. Uh, I guess AI's in that one there. Oh, yeah. And then we've got this whole section here. Didn't even see that. Oh, we got a fusion reactor in this. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. So, uh, fusion reactor. And it looks like a, a big shield part in the mix here. And a uh, corridor going to a blast door out front. And uh, there's our shield. And uh, looks like a quick uh, exit out the, the, the top of the ship there. Yeah, that's cool. I like the way this is uh, displayed too, where you have a catwalk going over the top of it like that. That's cool. And uh, obviously Wi-Fi in there. And uh, nice use of deco pieces as well. Very nicely textured and lit too. Um, has a has a nice consistent uh, cool theme to it. Yeah, I like the uh, the elevators. How they're coming up. Yeah, it looks like it's a really nice uh, usable ship there. I mean, it's got uh, uh, what you'd kind of want. Um, it obviously had a lot of weapons on it. Uh, because I, I do believe this is a combat-oriented ship, too. I'm here. I'm going to turn on the lights a minute. I'm going to do a little flying through the hall here to see what's going on on the insides. Oh, man. I was wrong on the uh, the, the shield stuff, too. We got a fusion, and we got two big shield parts. And a whole bunch more uh, medium shield parts. So this thing's going to have a pretty cycle shield, on it, I think. And then we've got our Xenoblock reinforcing here and combat steel. And all kinds of stuff. And lag shot block on the front. Um, yeah. Yep. Definitely definitely a combat oriented ship. Looks like it's set up uh, properly to, to do that kind of thing. And it looks like it's going to have a pretty uh, pretty big shield on it too, I'll say. Um, 
Very cool. You know, that's yeah, it's a, a nice looking ship. It uh, looks like it uh, will probably get the job done pretty well too. Um, let's take a look at some specs here. So uh, okay, so this this one's going to need uh, obviously I had a lot of locations to add these, but it's going to need some auxiliary or quantum cores or CPU CPU of some origin to get up to uh, about four and a half a little over four and a half million. Um, and just running Xenoblocks for protection, combat steel, uh, hold on, uh, that's one thing I wanted to look at here too, is base hull materials, so hardened steel, it might fluctuate, yeah, it is fluctuating. Um, it's pretty common, actually, on most combat ships I've been seeing now to have mixed materials, um, because if you, if you try to, like, lay out everything, say, in Xeno, it's gonna, it's gonna look like Xeno, which looks typically pretty bad, um, <laughs> Um, and if you do everything and combat steel, it's going to be super, super heavy everywhere. And you might not need that much, uh, weight being used, especially in places that you don't anticipate getting hit much or protecting anything. So, I mean, the most complicated, but the best way to go is probably mixed materials, you know, where you're using, uh, different materials for different areas of the ship and trying to keep that weight down, but also trying to keep it, uh, tough and strong and being able to take, damage where you would want it to take or anticipating on it taking damage at at least um, so also let's take a look at uh, the specs here on our thrust so 39 4 12 strafing 39 lift 25 down 25 reverse uh, 24 hour and 48 minute build time uh, oh it's got heavy missile turrets not just regular missile turrets heavy missile turrets just keep that in mind. Um, positron beam turrets, uh, four artillery cannons, six flak, uh, one retractable multi-turret. Oh, really? There's a multi-turret on here as well. Hmm. Long-range radar. 16 fuel tanks, six oxygen tanks, size class 3. So, yeah, not, 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 uh, I was just looking at like a 30-something, so size class 3 is quite a bit smaller for sure. Uh, let's see, what else can we look at here? Let's take a look at our storage. So you got an ammo controller, uh, two ammo controllers. Looks like each one is 320K. Makes a lot of sense. Um, you got a harvest controller in here too at 160K. Um, that's cool. It makes sense for the, uh, the, uh, multi turret there. So basically shoot up the bad guys, uh, the POIs or the enemy uh, ships and then uh, uh, salvage them basically um, and throw them in your harvest controller and move on to the to the to the next uh, victim <laughs> basically uh, yeah very cool so and then we've got some uh, other uh, containers and boxes and uh, various things over here as well so yeah it looks like it has everything it it didn't it wasn't doing the the farm thingy which is totally cool it's uh, it doesn't need it on this and it's uh, really pretty much a I mean, it's got some other utility function in there as well, but it's uh, certainly primarily based around being a uh, a uh, combat uh, vessel with a big time shield uh, set up in it. And that is something I really need to figure out. Uh, a lot of people say you can look at some shield numbers here somewhere. And um, man, I wish I sometimes I wish I was kind of like uh, like a live stream thing so I could ask a question. And I could look at comments and someone says, hey, hey look. Look to that one one side or the other side, but I, I yeah I know there is some way to view it, but for some reason every time I go out here and look for these things, I seem to not see like much about the shield. Um, so maybe there's another menu somewhere, but uh, obviously this this was running uh, at least uh, two of the the large shield items plus a whole bunch of the medium ones on here so i have a feeling it has a quite a lot of shield going on to it yeah very cool very cool a lot of really cool creations uh today and some uh just yeah guys really uh really kicking butt there and i, I like to see the uh, new authors too that i'm unfamiliar with doing uh, uh neat looking things like you know doing the uh the the truck and it's a very well shaped uh, truck down there and this combine over here that is really cool too um, and of course you know the the author that never sleeps over here uh, building this giant uh, uh, carrier super storage ship uh, crazy storage ship 
it's just a crazy ship in general. <laughs> uh, and then the, the, the first one we looked at too, the uh, that was also very cool, the uh, Mantis, Mantisar. Um, anyway, that's all I've got for today. This is probably a really long video. Um, I had a, there were some pretty big ships in, in the mix here, but uh, I was trying to offset it by a couple of smaller creations as well. Uh, just so it uh, went a little bit quicker. But any, anyway, uh, you all have yourself a great weekend. Again, awesome designs. Love to see all this stuff. And every time I, every time I look at these, I, I, you know, I get inspired with some new ideas, uh, new things that have been done in a certain way I haven't seen before. No exception here. Um, quite a few little tips and tricks and uh, interesting ways to do things. Even though, you know, I've seen a lot of creations. I've built a lot of creations. And it just never-ending amount of seeing things done differently in different ways with a lot of uh, creativity um, and uh, just some really killer stuff there. So, anyway, you all have yourself a awesome weekend. And I will uh, – I may do a video tomorrow on an update on my current uh, – uh, bird of prey project i did get a quite a bit more uh work done on that yesterday but i want to get some more done before i show it again uh just so you can kind of see it in a little bit more completed uh haul version i guess you could say so anyway see you later everybody